Hello everyone. So further to yesterday's little chat about goal setting, something else I learnt recently from Anik Singhal, I believe his name is. He's um, endorsed by Robert Kiyosaki, so I've listened to what he has to say a couple of times. He talks about the PEG method when it comes to goal setting. Now the PEG method is quite interesting and it probably deserves a drawing diagram to assist. However, I don't have the means to do that right now. However, in simplifying it, the PEG method is to write down your goal and then underneath it you peg it to your, uh, your abilities and the problems as well. So if you have a goal of earning say 10 grand in the next three months or so uh, and one of the problems associated that with that is that you don't have particular resources or you don't have a lot of spare time or that kind of a thing but what you do have in your um, assets column or your availabilities is that you do have a good lot of contacts, you do own a lot of stuff that you don't need anymore, you really enjoy photographing things. Um, and so then the next step after writing down a few lists about it is uh, it's a step method. So basically you break your goal down to little steps and then you climb up the steps to get to your goal. So with this, um, you peg one of your problems to your assets in a, and as well as uh, break down the goal into smaller parts. So instead of wanting 10 grand in three months, say you want to earn one grand in the first two weeks in order to do that. So one of your problems is you don't have a lot of time, but you do have a lot of stuff and that's your asset. Well, sell some stuff very quickly, take some snaps of it, you like taking photos, take some photos, pop it online and you can possibly create a thousand dollars in a fortnight. Once you've made that one thousand, the next step is to make your next thousand. So maybe you then give yourself another two weeks to create another two thousand dollars. And now because you're doing so well with your photos, maybe you want to be more artistic with your photos and you might be able to sell your prints or something or uh, use your contacts to spread words around that you are um, interested in, in photography and therefore you would like further information on that or what have you. And you can then maybe create another $1,000 through your photography skills, maybe teaching other people, maybe tutoring photography or, or something like that. So. Um, and slowly but surely you climb the steps and before you know it, at the end of three, three months, you've actually made $10,000. You just made it in $1,000 increments. And because at the start it might be quite tricky to do this, you start slowly $1,000 in the first two weeks, 1000 in the next two weeks. That's only two grand and one month's already gone, but that's okay. In the next two weeks or the next week, maybe you can start at two grand and then just build from there as you gain more confidence in your methodology. So that's from Anik Singhal. Uh, can probably, you, you, if you Google him, you'll find his information. I listened to a, a webinar about it and it was very brilliant um, and should, you should be able to get a hold of that quite easily. So that's pretty much it from me today. Goal setting is a big topic and one very important. So so many ways to learn more about it and I look forward to sharing them. But thank you very much for watching today and until next time. Bye.